I have done what I deem best for humanity. It is easy to protect the interests of the rich and powerful, but it is a great labor to protect the interests of the poor and downtrodden. These are the words of Thaddeus Stevens, who changed the foundation of our country. He defended public schools and helped to found two colleges in Lancaster and Gettysburg. A fierce foe of slavery, he pressured Lincoln to free the slaves and help pass constitutional amendments, which abolished slavery and laid the groundwork for our equal society. I wish I were the owner of every southern slave, that I might cast off the shackles from their limbs and witness the rapture which would excite them in the first dance of their freedom. Born into poverty, Stevens was cursed with a club foot, but blessed with a strong-willed mother who believed in education. After graduating from Dartmouth, he moved to Pennsylvania and became a member of the state legislature, where he saved the year-old public school system with an impassioned speech that earned him the title of the savior of public education in Pennsylvania. Build not your monuments of brass or marble, but make them of ever-living mind. Elected to Congress in 1848, he was immediately recognized as a foe of slavery. Our enemy has a general now, said one Southern congressman. In 1851, he helped to quit a group of people who resisted the capture of escaped slaves in Christiana, Pennsylvania. There can be no fanatics in the cause of genuine liberty. There may, and every hour shows around me, fanatics in the cause of false liberty, that infamous liberty which justifies human bondage, that liberty whose cornerstone is slavery. But there can be no fanaticism, however high the enthusiasm, in the cause of rational, universal liberty, the liberty of the Declaration of Independence. He helped pass the 13th Amendment, abolishing slavery, and was one of the framers of the 14th Amendment, establishing equal treatment for all. He kept Southerners from taking over Congress and laid the groundwork for Reconstruction, which sought to create an equal society in the South. Stevens is buried in an integrated cemetery where his epitaph reads, I repose in this quiet and secluded spot, not from any natural preference for solitude, but finding other cemeteries limited as to race by charter rules. I have chosen this, that I might illustrate in my death the principles which I advocated through a long life, equality of man before his creator.